Hello and welcome everyone to this webinar on a topic uh, I think that is of great interest. Should you take your home loan from SBI? I think over the last 3-4 years, uh, SBI has become a very very major uh, home loan provider uh, as per its claim it is the market leader uh, for uh, home loans. Uh, clearly it is uh, definitely among the largest uh, home loan providers in the country today. So uh, I think the topic should you take your home loan from SBI is of great interest to people. Uh, just a little homework before we start. First a disclaimer, apna paisa in, in any manner is not connected to SBI. Uh, clearly the views presented in this webinar are our independent views. Apna paisa itself does not act as a loan agent or a loan broker. And we strongly urge you to consult your personal finance advisor before you take any decision on financial matters, whether it be loans, insurance or investment. At any time during this uh, webinar, if you have uh, any questions, you can uh, raise uh, your hand. There is a provision to raise your hand. Uh, that you will see and uh, that will enable me to ask you those questions and to be able to answer those uh, questions. So uh, now before we start, I thought we could do a poll. Uh, let me do this poll. How many of you are looking how many of you are looking for a home loan or transfer of a home loan in the near future please you will be seeing the poll on your screens please uh, give the answers uh, and that will help me decide uh, you know what are the people who are participating in this poll. I am waiting for everybody uh, to answer uh, the poll. Uh, please uh, do vote. I am looking for people to answer the uh, vote. I think some votes are still coming in. Some votes are still coming in. Okay, uh, I think this is your last chance to vote. Uh, those who have not voted, please vote. Okay, so we have a, I think a rough, we have a, we have a rough estimate of about I think 43% of the people, so about 60% is looking for a home loan in the next 3 to 6 months and about 40% uh, are just uh, thinking about it. Let me get a little more color on this. How many of you feel and we will do this poll both before the webinar and after the webinar. How many of you feel that SBI is the cheapest home loan provider. How many of you feel that SBI is the cheapest home loan provider? Uh, please uh, vote. I'm waiting for you to vote. We will do this at the end of the webinar as well. Uh, okay. Okay. This I think is clearly overwhelmingly people are I think 100% I think this is 100% of you feel that SBI is the cheapest home loan provider okay if there is somebody from SBI here he will be extremely happy to uh, hear that uh, let me before we start just the the
the last poll before we start which is to do with this perception of how easy it is to get a loan from SBI. Again, we will do this before the webinar as well as after the webinar. I want you to vote on this. SBI Home Loan has hassle-free procedures and your options are I agree it is hassle-free, it is okay but I cannot call it hassle-free or it is very hassling experience to take a home loan from SBI. There are only three options uh, available. I, I await uh, people to answer this. Okay, I think we have 11% who say that they agree it is hassle-free, 60% feel it is okay, but I, they cannot call it hassle-free and about one-third feel it is a very hassling experience to take a loan from uh, SBI. Let us see how the results show up after the polls are, after we have finished this webinar. So let's me move ahead. As I said, the subject of this webinar is should you choose SBI for your home loans? And second, should you ship your existing home loans to SBI? And to answer that question, the first thing that we need to do is that let us look at a comparison. Uh, of SBI home loans with other leading players. You will see here uh, a comparison for a loan, a floating rate loan of 30 lakhs for 20 years. Uh, we have State Bank of India, we have ICICI Bank, we have HDFC home loans, LIC Housing Finance, these are the four largest uh, lender, home loan lenders in the market and IDBI Bank which is a public sector bank which is fairly active uh, uh, in the uh, home loan industry. There are a number of other banks that are equally active. Because of space, we have not been able to include them here. Anybody wants to do a complete comparison, they can come to Apna Paisa and look at the compare uh, uh, tab on the home loans and they will be able to do comparison across 80 providers. But to come back to this, for a loan of 30 lakhs and a tenure of 20 years, SBI's rate is 9.95%, ICICI is 10.4%, HDFC is a rate that varies between 10.4 to 10.9 depending on the credit profile, LIC Housing Finance is 10.60 and IDBI Bank is 10.25. Is, is so uh, IDBI Bank uh, clearly I think the public sector banks State Bank of India by far is the cheapest one as far as interest rates are concerned. Uh, even if we look at the fee, the processing fee and the legal fees and title clearance uh, that uh, we have, uh, clearly I think uh, as far as SBI is concerned, it is extremely competitive. The others, let me just uh, uh, say that the processing fee especially is hugely negotiable uh, and therefore the figures given here are essentially indicative figures. Uh, to the best of our knowledge in state bank, these figures are not really negotiable. For those of you who want to look at a higher loan, if you talk of a loan of up to a, a 1 crore for 20 years, the SBI rate is 10.10%, ICICI's rate is 10.65 to 11.25. Similar almost for HDFC, uh, LIC is 11.10, IDBI Bank is 10.75. In almost all cases you need to pay 0.20%, uh, please there is a spello here, uh, a typo here, 0.20% of the uh, loan amount as stamp duty charges. Most banks will charge you. Some of these lenders don't charge you, but anyway the liability remains yours. So this is a charge that you have to pay effectively across uh, the lenders.
clearly 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 sbi has the cheapest home loan as compared to its competitors in fact rates have recently moved up although sbi hasn't increased rates and therefore there could be an apprehension that sbi is likely to increase rates if you look at the comparison even if they increase the base rate by 0.25% they will still remain the cheapest i think the difference is fairly fairly high so uh, clearly clearly high I'm sorry. I think I have been informed that people have not been able to see the uh, screens. Uh, I uh, I will quickly take it back to the previous screen. I was saying it, and I'm sure you heard it. But a quick look back on 30 lakhs, we saw that SBI is the cheapest at 9.95. The next is IDBI Bank, and then uh, what up ICICI Bank and uh, HDFC. Uh, and then LIC Housing Finance. Even if you take a loan of hundred lakhs, uh, SBI clearly is the cheapest. As I said, they clearly are the cheapest, even if they increase rates. So uh, there is no uh, question. The other big advantage that SBI has over uh, other providers is the fact that they offer offset loans at the same rate. Uh, we will talk in a minute about what offset rates are, but on what offset loans are, uh, in, uh, only five banks offer uh, what are called offset loans, uh, offset rate home loans, and uh, SBI offers this uh, scheme called max gain at the same rate as a regular home loan. A quick look at what offset uh, loans are and why they are beneficial. In offset loans, there is a linked bank account. So along with your home loan, you open another account. The average balance, you can, just like any other account, you can deposit money in that account or you can withdraw money in that account, uh, from that account. Whatever is the average balance during the month, that balance is set off against the principal loan outstanding and only on the balance interest is calculated. So what it effectively means that even if the deposited money is withdrawn, it will still save you interest. Effectively, for whatever period you keep any money deposited in the bank account, that actually earns you interest at the home loan rate by way of saving on that much interest on your uh, home loan. I am going to explain that with the aid of an uh, example. If there are any questions uh, uh, so far, I'm open to questions. Please do let me know if there are any questions so far. If there are any questions, I am open to questions. Please let me know if there are any questions uh, so far. Please raise your hand or you can type into the chat window and ask me the questions, please. I think somebody is asking, is it true that since SBI has large number of CASA accounts, their home loan rates will always be uh, low compared to other PSU banks or other lenders. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, CASA means current account, savings account. Uh, I think only State Bank is a large bank. It is a large deposit base uh, and it is very, very well known, extremely reputed and therefore obviously it is able to raise money at cheaper rates.
somebody has asked what percentage of value is given uh, we will answer that question in a bit if there are other questions too please let me know i will try and answer them let's let's just get back to the offset loans what is offset loans let's look at a normal loan of 30 lakhs 10 percent cost 240 months let us assume it started off in first january the emi for that is 28000 or roughly 29000 rupees and these are the yearly flows the yellows denote interest the greens denote principal you will see that in the first year most of the emi goes towards the uh, interest amount very small amount goes towards the principal as the years go by the principal component increases and the interest component decreases and this line that you see is the principal outstanding at the end of the year and therefore what starts off at 2013 ends at 2033 in 20 years this is a normal loan now let us take the same loan but as an SBI max gain uh, uh, loan, uh, same interest rate, there is a now a current account open. The difference between the earlier case and this case is that in the fourth year, you deposit 4 lakhs, which you withdraw at the end of 6 years. Then in the 10th year, you deposit 6 lakhs, which you withdraw at the end of 11th year. And then at the uh, beginning of the 14th year, you put in 3 lakhs, which you withdraw at the end of 15th year. What happens in that case? You, As you can see, you end up saving about 30 installments. That is how much you end up saving. Even though the money that you deposited, you have eventually withdrawn. The 4 lakhs, you kept it there for 3 years. 6 lakhs, you kept it there for 2 years. 3 lakhs, you kept it there for 2 years. But you eventually withdrew. But because of that, the, uh, the interest calculated was lower and therefore you ended up paying it much faster. In fact, you ended up paying the whole loan in 210 months. So the max gain and you ended up saving interest of roughly 8,68,000. That's a huge saving. Even for money that you kept there only for a temporary period. Remember, you actually withdrew it. Uh, eventually. So clearly max gain is a is a superb facility. All offset loans are a superb facility uh, and SBI max gain because it comes at the same rate is a is a really really good uh, facility. Let us see there are only as I mentioned earlier there are only five banks that offer them. Uh, we we'll just take an example of offset loan of 50 lakhs. Uh, for 20 years and these are the rates state bank of india same rate 10.10 percent .10%, a processing fee of 11236 roughly a legal fees of 4500 roughly 16500 uh, city bank offers it they call it home credit uh, they will charge you anywhere between 10.75 to 11.75 the fee will range from 11000 as is usual, their processing fee includes, in all other cases, the processing fee includes the legal fees. Uh, HSBC is at 10.75, Stanchart is 10.75, IDBI Bank calls it IDBI HL interest saver, that is at 10.5%. Uh, don't go by the fee in the cases other than State Bank because it is clearly uh, negotiable and typically it can be negotiated uh, lower. But uh, it will not be, I, I don't think it will be much lower than what uh, SBI is charging. So processing fee and interest rate of banks other than SBI, to the best of our knowledge, SBI does not, uh, does not uh, do any uh, concession on the uh, interest rates, uh, but the uh, other banks will look at interest rate at the lower end of this uh, uh, what is indicated here and definitely on the fees uh, there is a lot of negotiations that can happen for consumers with a good credit profile 
proper property documents and obviously those who negotiate hard. So remember if you are dealing with other banks, please remember to negotiate hard and we will talk about how Afna Pesa can help you do that. So before we talk about, so so far we have spoken about all the great things that SBI is doing clearly it's one of the cheapest loans they also have SBI max gain at the same rate clearly clearly it makes a lot and lot of sense to do that uh, let me see the uh, questions one of the questions is, is the interest rate on daily basis balance in the link saving uh, account yes the answer to that is yes if the interest uh, rate is on a daily, uh, it is automatically uh, because in in the case of this uh, link account, typically you are not getting the uh, savings bank interest. You are, the principal is being used to set it off against the uh, home loan. It is basically a current account, not a uh, savings bank account. Please do ask me questions. I am open to questions. Please chat. You can ask me questions on the chat uh, and I can answer that. Is the interest same on daily basis? Yes. Uh, I think Mr. Sandeep Tiwari wants to ask a question. Uh, Mr. Sandeep Tiwari, please go ahead. I have unmuted you. I uh, await your question. Yes, Mr. Sandeep Tiwari, please go ahead. Yes. Sir, I uh, already have three home loans going on with uh, HDFC Limited. And right. uh, I already have four. Basically, there is another home which I home loan which I have already closed, which is with the city bank. So right. now, out of these three, NCR, and I, I have already approached through Apna Paisa to his, uh, there is a star consultant uh, who are helping me to submit my file. But the question I have, uh, which I raised to SBI manager a uh, few months back, is right. Go ahead. Uh, if already have home loans, next gain cannot be offered though. So that's the question. Is that the rule SBI have? Uh, well, I, I, I am wondering if there is anybody here from SBI, somebody, uh, is, is there somebody here, please do raise your hand if there is somebody here from uh, SBI. I don't really see anybody raising their hands, but okay, uh, let me try and answer that question, Sandeep. Uh, I think, see, Max Gain is a lot of work for uh, yeah. SBI. Uh, and uh, uh, therefore, uh, sometimes uh, the managers are reluctant to say it is available. Above 1 crore also max gain is available except that they charge 0.25 more. So okay. if the loan amount is above 1 crore, max gain is available, but it will cost you 10.35% and not 10.10%. So uh, I think uh, okay. that is the difference. So if you insist, you will be able to get 10.35 uh, the you said your loan was about 10 uh, above 1 crore right one, one crore yeah if it is above 1 crore the rate will be 10.35 percent uh, state bank has other issues uh, with loans above okay. 1 crore which is essentially I think their systems uh, may or may not when we talk about some of the drawbacks we will talk about that but max gain is available above 1 crore at 10.35 percent uh, okay, sir. Thank you. That I understood. Lukesh, sorry. Lukesh Chavla has a question. Yes, Lukesh, please go ahead. I have unmuted you. Please go ahead.
मुकेश हेलो यस मुकेश गो हेड हेलो कैन यू हेमी यस वी कैन प्लीज गो हेड फैंटास्टिक और सो प्रमाली देयर टू क्वेश्चंस सॉरी वन इज रिगार्ड्स देयर टू क्वेश्चंस या वन इज रिगार्ड्स स्टैम्प ड्यूटी राइट डू ऑल बैंक्स चार्ज स्टैम्प ड्यूटी ऑन बैलेंस ट्रांसफर ओके एंड सेकंड क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट इंश्योरेंस SBI mm -hmm. emphasizes that you get the home or flat, the, the property covered. Mm -hmm. There's a charge to it. While other banks, I think, do not ask for that. Okay. Yeah, these are the questions. If you could help. Okay. Excellent. I think both the questions raised by uh, Mr. Mukesh Chawla are excellent. He he says two things. One is this point uh, two percent of the loan amount stamp duty. Do all lenders charge it? And second, uh, SBI insists on. taking uh, life insurance disability insurance and house uh, insurance uh, uh, and do all other banks insist and is that a good idea so the first 0.20% there is varying practice state bank of india clearly charges it uh, there are other banks also other lenders uh, to the best of my knowledge idbi bank also charges it all the foreign banks uh, also uh, charge it even when it is not charged for example i don't think hdfc charges it but clearly in the agreement the liability to pay that stamp duty is yours so i don't think because this is the stamp duty payable on creation of the security in favor of the bank uh, so sure it is an additional expense uh, but even for a lender who does not charge the liability remains yours and it is probably will hit you at some point of time so i would suggest you not take that into account as far as insurance is concerned one it is very very clear that no bank can insist that you take insurance only from their associate insurance company that is not allowed it is illegal if a bank is insisting you must should make a written complaint having said that i think some banks have a good scheme sbi has this uh, rin raksha scheme uh, which protects you Uh, for your outstanding loan amount which means uh, leave your home to the family not your loan uh, which is essentially if if you die the insurance company will pay off the loan if you are disabled because of a illness uh, or because of an accident again the loan is paid off i think it is a good scheme the uh, premium is uh, reasonable uh, i i think it is something that you should look at in any case you have an option to cover it from somewhere else it's a little expensive you can cover it outside slightly cheaper but it is convenient it is available as a package so i would suggest that you should definitely look at it we we have time for one more question uh, mr sandeep tiwari has a question yes mr tiwari please go ahead Mr. Tiwari, please do go ahead. Very good, sir. No, sir. My question is already answered. Okay. Right? So okay. I don't right. know that those three three home loan thing I already asked. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So let's move ahead. Let's talk about some of the uh, disadvantages of an SBI home loan, and I think it really goes back to the. Uh, Uh, issues that i think everybody feels about the procedural issues one i think clearly sbi home loans clearly has issues with the property uh, because property and technical services are outsourced to independent parties there is not too much standardization for the same property there have been cases where when it goes to one branch uh, it is treated differently when it goes to another branch it's treated differently even within the same branch because it is at one time it is sent to one lawyer in another case it is sent to another lawyer it is again treated uh, differently so i think all that does cause uh, uh, problems i think property is the big big issue now there are not too many under construction projects that uh, the uh, uh, that 
that are uh, pre-approved uh, and therefore it really is an issue. Even credit, uh, typically uh, where your loan size is more than 1 crore, again as I said their systems has a tired approach. I think for loan sizes greater than 1 crore, it, it could be uh, an issue. Even for sizes below 1 crore, if you are self-employed, etc. If it's a standard proposal, I think where you are salaried and work for a large company, I don't think credit is an issue. Assuming your credit information, your civil report is good. If you have a civil report of more than 800 and uh, you are working for a large company, you are salaried, I don't think credit is an issue. The real issue will arise with the property. The other of course is that you will require at least a couple of visits to the branch. It is not a process that moves uh, very very uh, smoothly. One visit to the branch is definitely uh, required to sign loan documents. Uh, now in other places, in other private banks or foreign banks, uh, you do get uh, doorstep service. So to that much extent, I think the biggest drawbacks about SBI home loan are primarily procedural. We have always already seen that it is the uh, cheapest. So when should you look at a home loan from SBI? I think one, there is no point in approaching SBI till property is finalized as property is the place where you are likely to have the uh, biggest issue. So there is no point in getting a pre-approval from them. Typically credit if you work for a large company, you are not looking for a very very, uh, if you are not looking for a very very aggressive, uh, you are not looking for extremely aggressive uh, sanction. I don't think credit, uh, your own personal credit is up going to be a problem. And one of the best ways I have found uh, by experience is that check with your project uh, developer or somebody if you are buying in resale, somebody else in the building from the sec uh, secretary of the society. If any other flat in that project has been funded, if that has previously been funded by SBI, approach the same branch of SBI, carry that reference number. I think that helps dramatically in making sure that the uh, property is uh, approved quickly. Assuming your credit is good, your uh, civil report is good uh, and uh, the uh, salary is uh, good uh, compared to the loan amount you need, I think that will smoothen the procedural issues quite a lot. How should you approach SBI? One of course is you when you apply to Apna Paisa, uh, it is possible that some of the players who, uh, uh, to whom we send it to create competition for you uh, might be uh, working for SBI as well. Uh, but if you want to approach SBI directly, one thing is to approach the nearest branch which is convenient to you. You can call them on these numbers that you see here. These are 1-800 numbers and they in turn will direct you to a nearest branch or you can apply online on their website. They do have a form sbi.co.in that is their uh, website address. On the right uh, uh, right side, on the middle, you have a apply online uh, button where if you apply for home loan, you will get a uh, call response times very rarely. And if you have a small loan, you may not get any call at all. Sometimes you will get a call if for any reason you don't, are not able to pick it up, you may not get a repeat call. So responses may vary, but definitely it is worth trying applying directly on their site as well. Of course, one option always is to apply on Apna Paisa and there is a chance that some of the people who take those leads from us uh, would be working for SBI, although that we cannot guarantee. Other question is, should you shift your home loan to SBI? Definitely. I mean, I think today when people have existing loans, most of them will be paying 10.75, 11, 11 and a half, 12, 12 and a half. There is a huge amount of interest that people are paying. Again, I think the process remains the same. So you can benefit by shifting your loan. SBI appears to have appetite. Procedurally, again, it does remain cumbersome, but
but clearly they now have appetite. In fact, earlier they used to insist on a third party guarantee which made that whole process completely unviable. Now on a case to case basis, they do waive it. And if you have a good credit profile and a good property paper, they will definitely waive it. Again, the terms remain the same across the same branch of SBI. If another flat in the same project has been funded, take the reference. In any case, trying this will not harm you because the processing fee that they charge is not very high. At worst, even if you don't get it from SBI, you can use that to get a lower rate from your existing lender. So net net, you are not going to be worse off. Another option that you might want to look at is to look at uh, IDBI uh, or other private banks uh, or foreign banks as they offer better service, clearly doorstep service. One important thing that the other banks offer that SBI does not offer are top up loans at the same rate. Now SBI does not offer top up loans at the same rate. In fact, they will not offer a top up loan to start with. Uh, and after a certain number of years, they will give you a top up loan, but the interest rate is higher. When you go to foreign banks, you will be able to along with the loan transfer, you will also be able to get a top up loan, although interest rate on both will be higher. Are there any questions uh, so far? I see that Mr. Tiwari has a question. Uh, go ahead Mr. Tiwari, I have unmuted you. Yeah, sir, I, yeah, um, I, as, as we are in a loan transfer section, I Actually, I am already in process from ICICI to S I am already in process to transfer my loan from ICICI to SBI. Okay. When I reach out to ICICI saying that I want all these documents, foreclosure letter, list of documents, they immediately say we'll reduce your loan by 0.75 percent. Right. So they said we'll make it 10.5 percent. Right. So SBI is offering 10.35. The question comes to my mind whether it's worth. Uh, is pending effort with SBI because it's just a matter of 0.15 percent difference. So what you suggest, should I still consider? So the call is for you to take Mr. Tiwari. I agree that it is a cumbersome process. Uh, the only possible advantage of SBI is that at 10.35 they are giving you max gain. Whereas with ICICI 10 and a half will be a regular uh, home loan. So uh, if that max, if you are likely to keep large sums of money into that linked current account even for temporary periods then the benefit will be far more than just the 0.15 percent that you see so uh, to but on the flip side obviously there will be that 0.2 percent one time fee on the stamp uh, duty uh, another 15,000 or odd which is really uh, not really material given the loan amount that you have uh, but uh, uh, the benefit really would come from max gain. So if that is likely to be a big gain, if you are likely to keep money in the account, then I think you should make the effort. If you are not likely to make the, uh, uh, likely to have large money is kept in the uh, uh, linked account, then I think you just take that uh, reduced rate from ICICI. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. so uh, I hope that answers your question, Mr. Tiwari. Yeah. Okay, so in conclusion, yes, yes. Thank you. essentially SBI home loan, excellent choice if available. I think really that should about sum up this uh, webinar. It is an excellent choice if it is available. We are open for uh, uh, questions right now. Just a quick word on can up because these were questions that came to us uh, before the webinar. Can Apna Paisa help you get a loan from SBI? Just want to tell you what Apna Paisa does. Apna Paisa helps you take informed decisions by providing you a comparison. This webinar is one attempt. On our own website, you will see comparison across 80 home loan providers in the country. We educate you. Again, this webinar is one effort, but on the site itself, there are various things that you can, uh, which tell you what are the things you should look at while uh, uh, deciding on a home loan lender. And third, creating competition. So when you enter in an application, 
multiple people will pick up that application and provide you competing quotes. Clearly, I think the whole philosophy is that when they compete, you win. We are not agents or brokers for any bank. Uh, so, uh, what does happen is there are agents and brokers uh, who might pick up leads from us, but they deal directly with you. They, they may claim that they work for Apna Paisa, but uh, let me assure you, there is no agent or broker who is an employee of Apna Paisa. We can get various providers to compete for your business, but we cannot ensure that a particular provider like SBI will be available. Okay, uh, now. Okay, uh, we have, uh, yes, we have uh, Mr. Uh, I think we have Mr. Giridhar Kini, who's an DGM with uh, uh, SBI. Uh, uh, go ahead, Mr. Kini. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't see your hand. Uh, please go ahead. I think people have raised various questions. You probably have heard what uh, I have been saying. Uh, would you like to comment, sir? It is unmuted. He is self-muted. Uh, uh, Mr. Kinney, please unmute your button. You are muted yourself uh, on your side of the machine. Please unmute yourself. So then you will be able to speak. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Kinney. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks to apnapaisa.com for giving us the opportunity. In the first Thank place, you. I would like to recite uh, one important information regarding the rate of interest which we are offering. It's 9.95 percent up to 30 lakhs and for max gain, hello? Yeah, go ahead Mr. Kinney. Up to 1 crore is 10.10 only. That's right. Yeah, that means max gain up to 1 crore, no? That's right. Yeah. Uh, that one uh, uh, correction I request you to you know, make for the be used by the you know viewers. Right. And coming to the takeover, takeover, you no know, property issues and all, where the property you know builders are approved, projects are approved. Right. We are not going for repeat uh, verification of uh, property papers, you no know, legal scrutiny. Right. Uh, what was the yeah yeah Mr. Kinney? The duplication is yeah. Uh, and the top of loan, SB is having a top of loan facility for existing home loan customers. We are giving a, a home equity which is at just 1.25 percent of over our base rate. That means that 10.95 percent customers are getting home equity which can be used by them for our personal needs. Right. We also take over pop up loans sanctioned by other banks along with the shifting of home loan at the same rate of interest at the home loan rate. Okay. Yeah. And I assure all these you know, viewers and uh, the home seekers that we will take it email id dgm.homeloans at sba.co.in What was the email id again Mr. Kenny? Can you repeat the email id? dgm.homeloans dgm.homeloans at sba.co.in Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, oh. Home home equity we give to no up to two crores. Right, right. Yeah, shifting of accounts to SBI, you no. Know? Right. That will also help uh, the customers of other banks to so avail mm. our you know lowest rate of interest. and our processing fee the maximum is ten thousand. Okay, for new home loans. Right. And 
for shifting of home loan or uh, take over no shift uh, processing fee just thousand rupees. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Just one thousand rupees. Okay. okay. Uh, so I think some very uh, interesting points that Mr. Kinney has made. Uh, one, I, uh, we have included the service tax also, Mr. Kinney. Uh, what he has said is that for transfer of loans from other banks, the processing fee is just one thousand rupees plus service tax, so roughly uh, just uh, whatever eleven hundred rupees. Uh, service tax. We are we are in, in um, paying that. That's we are right. not charging uh, no, to the customers. Oh, it is exactly 1000 rupees, is it? <coughs> Could you speak up, Mr. Kinney? Can't really hear you too well. No, no. There is no service tax on our processing fee. Okay. Okay, so then I think our data here should stand corrected because we have assumed that service tax would be corrected extra. I think we will correct yeah, this yeah. before we upload this. We will correct it, correct it before we upload yeah. it. Something very interesting Mr. Kinney has and just told us. And the home page also, the rate of interest shown is incorrect. Please kindly rectify it. 9.95 and 10.10, .10, right sir? Yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Correct. It that is, is the rate that we have to Now, home page in max gain, you have shown 10.10%. Right. Yeah. That is for a loan of 50 lakhs, sir. 50 lakhs. Yeah, 50 lakhs also, it's 10.10. Ah. Huh. But that zone is, you know, 1 crore. We have Back shown it incorrectly? Hello, okay, if you have shown it incorrectly, we will change it, Mr. Kinney. No, 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 point is, loan up to 30 lakhs, even for max gain, it is 9.95%. Right. Correct. It is very important for the customer, no? Home right. Correct. There are many benefits in uh, max gain. Absolutely. It is the only bank, uh, PSU and probably, you know, private sector bank, offering this product. Correct. This is very very attractive for no younger generation customers, IT and you no know, ITS crowd. I mean, uh, professionals. Correct. We just uh, highlighted that product. in the webinar, and I think Mr. Kinney is uh, uh, clearly saying the same thing that the SBI uh, the Max Gain product is an excellent product which we completely back. I think uh, clearly that's a product uh, that makes the SBI home loan offering uh, really really good. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kinney, for sharing that. Uh, some one more, one more, one more quick update. One more quick update. Hmm. The SBI has opened uh, uh, quite a sizable number of uh, RECPC retail assets processing centers uh -huh. in all the nine locations. In Bangalore, we had only one. Today, we are having four. Uh, Pune, we are having three. Mumbai, we are having five. Now, the purpose is. It is all to facilitate customers to you know, visit a very convenient location for a documentation. Correct. Apart from that, recently mm. we have also authorized our fee intensive, personal segment intensive branches to do documentation. Suppose Correct. the existing customer of a Borivali branch. Right. will not go to BKC or you no know, other center for documentation. He has the option to execute his document at his parent branch. Correct. Ah, this is all you know, customer you know, friendly initiatives we have taken to ease out you know, the home loan documentation. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for uh, mentioning that Mr. Kinney. So there you have uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, Mr. Kinney, the DGM of home loans himself telling us how the process is uh, being made better with the more and more personal banking uh, branches uh, that uh, they are doing. Uh, now Mr. Kinney, please hold on. Uh, there are a couple of things that some of our uh, participants wants to ask you. Uh, we have Mr. Uh, Ashwin Mathur. Uh, yes, Mr. Mathur, uh, please go ahead. Yeah, hi sir. Good evening and thanks for the opportunity. Um, my first question would be, can you please educa educate us on the takeover loans uh, mm -hmm. from other PSU banks? 
and their applicable interest rate uh, for a 30 lakh loan of 20 years and would this loan be, fa be favorable to me if I take it during a festival season like Dashera Diwali? I, I think there is no difference whether you transfer the loan from other PSU banks or from a private bank into SBI if that was your question. Uh, they don't differentiate uh, between which uh, bank you are transferring it from. You, if the loan is 30 lakhs, you will be able to get it at 9.95 as Mr. Kinney just told us, including it on, uh, including as a max gain account if you so choose. Okay, so even if I book a max gain, uh, then the interest rate I pay is only 9.95 for 20 years. Absolutely, that is what you will end up paying. And sir, about the processing fee, uh, I, I believe I, I just heard Mr. Kiri saying it is only thousand rupees. That is right. They have reduced the fee for balance transfers, so you will end up paying only thousand rupees as fees. Please remember there will be some legal fee and processing fee, a 0.2% stamp duty. Still a very attractive proposition, Mr. Matu. And I think I'll also have to register the. Uh, the sale deed in the favor of uh, SBI, right, to create a mortgage equity Sale mortgage. deed, no, not really. Sale deed will be in your favor. Uh, this is a balance transfer, right? You are transferring yes, an existing home loan. Correct. You just have to create a title deed. Uh, so, I mean, you just will have to take the papers from your existing bank and pass them to SBI. Uh, Okay, but I think the the, uh, the PSU banks also insist that you have to create an equitable mortgage by registering the documents, right sir? That is that 0.2%, that was the fee that I was talking about. Okay, and I think the private lenders don't uh, charge this 0.2%. So as I mentioned, yes, some of them don't, some of them do. But anyway, the liability remains. That stamp liability is yours. It is possible that may come up a year down the line or two years down the line. So I would not really uh, take too much stock of the fact that you are not being charged by another lender. Great. Okay. Sir. Thanks. Thanks for the time, and uh, we look forward to many such webinars. Thank you. Thank you for finding this useful. I think that's all that we have time for today. I, I thank all of you for being part of this webinar. At the end of this webinar, uh, I, I, as we end this, let me thank uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, let me thank the DGM uh, from SBI, Mr. Kinney, for uh, coming on this webinar and uh, educating the participants here. I'm sure they benefited a lot from uh, participating. And uh, thank you, everyone. And I hope that this was useful to you. And 